Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? I hope you guys missed me as much as I missed you. Um, I took a little bit of time off, but now it's time to get back into making some cocktails. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make some summer cocktails today, and what we're gonna use a whole bunch of is beer, specifically Blue Moon. Oh, that's the wrong way. There we go. What's up everybody, welcome back to the Never Empty Bottle. I'm still Tyler and welcome back. I'm super excited, I'm super happy to be filming again and be making some delicious cocktails. Um, like I said, I took some time off because I had to get married of course, which was friggin' awesome. Um, but now let's go ahead and let's make ourselves a delicious summer cocktail. Beer cocktails have been extremely trendy lately. Everyone wants to incorporate their beer in their cocktails. I think it's pretty cool. I come from a little bit of a beer background, so I figured why not just lean into this mofo. So one of my favorite beers, like Mount Rushmore for me, has got to be Blue Moon. I think it's just one of the best tasting, delicious, most refreshing summertime beers ever. It's got the Valencia oranges incorporated with it. It's amazing. So I'm super excited to make these cocktails. We're gonna make four of them. Um, so let's go ahead, let's twist one of these off. Let's get this party started. One beer. Second beer. Go ahead and do yourself a favor and just start cutting your orange up now because we are gonna use orange slices, or yeah, orange slices for each and every single one of these cocktails because orange slices go so amazing with Blue Moon beer. So all these cocktails have actually pretty fun names. So this first one that we're gonna make is called the Summer Moon. So this one, it's gonna have Blue Moon and then all of them are gonna have Blue Moon incorporated with another sort of big spirit. So this one is going to be vodka. So let's go ahead and grab our ice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, and I went ahead and got some uh, Svetka Rose vodka here, because I don't know why I thought that it would go really well with this, so you can go with any kind of vodka you want, but I thought this would maybe give it a little bit better of a flavor, so we're gonna go one full ounce. Best part about this, everything gets poured into the glass, no shakers required here. One ounce, a little bit of spillage. Next, what we need is two ounces of good old fashioned lemonade. So I went ahead and made about two gallons worth. So let's go ahead and let's somehow get two ounces into this tiny little jigger. Nothing is better than just good old, like just lemonade by itself. Two ounces into the glass. Go ahead and give it a nice stir with the ice incorporated in there. And now it's time for the start of the show. Let's go ahead and pour some Blue Moon in here. Beautiful, all the way to the top. That looks delicious. Let's give it another stir. And of course, don't forget to garnish with your Valencia orange or your store-bought orange, whatever orange you have. And here we have our summer moon. Oh, that's delicious. Lemonade. So I've heard orange juice and blue moon go really well together, obviously because of the oranges that are incorporated with, but this lemonade in here, Amazing. I don't get a whole lot of the vodka. There's a little bit of a bite to it, but this is this is delicious. Next one. This next one sounds pretty sexy. Obviously something that you would drink on a tropical island. Properly named the Island Moon. So let's go ahead, start with our ice like always. First thing we're gonna go ahead and go with our spiced rum here. So we're gonna go two ounces of our spiced rum. I'm just using straight up Bacardi here. Two ounces. Next, go ahead and give you pineapple juice, a good old shake. Every time, good God, you'd think I would learn. It's like someone handed me a can with snakes that are gonna pop out and never figure it out. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go with three ounces of our pineapple juice. It's quite a bit, actually. So, two ounces. Anytime I have to flip the jigger over, I'm like, man, that's a lot. And then we're gonna go one more ounce, four, three. And then of course, we're gonna to top this baby off with Blue Moon. Nice long pour. Oh, that's a beautiful orange color. Right to the top, can I get the rest of it in? No spills? Ah, we did it! Now for this one, instead of doing a little slit like I always like to do, I'm gonna go ahead and just try and tuck it in there. Oh, we're gonna get some spillage, but that actually is okay. It looks kind of sexy that way. Now we're gonna go ahead and try our Island Moon here. 
Don't be afraid to pour these better than me. But this one is also delicious. Pineapple juice, blue moon. The blue moon and all the juices are going really well together. Yeah, that's delicious. And the, the rum gives it a nice, I don't know, it gives it a different, uh, definitely a tropical feel. I definitely get the tropical feel from the spice rum, but this is another terrific one. So two for two, let's go for three. It's time for a new beer. Kobe, nailed it. Oh, just as refreshing as ever. So this one is gonna be called the Blue Moon Mist. I think it's gonna be delicious and a little bit different. So let's go ahead, ice. Yep, yep. Nailed it. At first, we're gonna go just one ounce of our Aperol here. And again, everything just straight into the glass. See if I can dump it better. There we go. Oh, such a red color. Now we're gonna go one full ounce of our freshly squeezed lemon juice. Into the glass. And then the best part, go ahead and dump that Blue Moon in all the way to the top. This one actually asks for about 10 ounces of Blue Moon. So if you're thinking that's way too much beer, it's what it asks for. So it's got a beautiful, I just poured the Blue Moon in, it's got a beautiful ombre look to it. And as much as I wanna keep that, I also wanna incorporate the uh, flavors together. So we're gonna give it another stir here. I hate to do that because it looks so awesome. And like we're doing for the rest of them, go ahead and take your big old orange and we're gonna use that as our garnish. Bam! And there we have our Blue Moon Mist. Let's go ahead and give her a shot. Definitely more bitter. It's different. I get a little bit of that lemon juice. Um, beer takes over just a little too much. Maybe a little less beer. It asks for about um, 10 ounces. You could maybe dial that back to like seven, but still a great cocktail. On to number four. All right, so this one I might have saved the best for last. This one is called the Agave Moon, but there's no agave syrup in it, which I kind of thought there would be, but screw it, this is our cocktail. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do some mezcal. I get to open up my mezcal for the first time. We're gonna go a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of pineapple, and of course some Blue Moon. So let's start with our ice. So first things first, let's go with our pineapple juice. Just one full ounce of that. Right into our glass. Now I have to say, I feel a little bit like a dipshit because I squeezed a bunch of limes, made a bunch of lime juice, and then I found out that I'm only using one fourth of an ounce of lime juice here. So not my best performance ever, but you win some, you lose some. Fourth of an ounce of lime juice. We get to get our mezcla. I'm going with banyas here. So this, oh, if I can get the cork off. God, did they super glue it on? My God, that is beautiful. Oh, a little bit of smoke here. It said you could use uh, mezcal or tequila, but I wanted to give this a shot. So we're gonna go with one full ounce of that. Into the glass. Now for this one, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna slide my orange in prior to, so give it a nice little sexy view there, and then we're gonna go ahead and just pour in our blue moon. And here we have our agave moon. Oh wow. Mezcal and tequila would be two completely different drinks here. So obviously mezcal, you get that smoky flavor. I'm getting pure smoke right off the top. It's like a smoky, almost like a burnt orange here, I feel like. It is quite delicious. Oh yeah. That, yeah, you only, I think you have to do with mezcal here. I think tequila would still be good, It'd be more of a margarita, um, but this is just a completely different beast right here. This is delicious though, I love this. So I'm gonna go ahead and say we did four for four here. So whether you're making a cocktail or you're just drinking a good old fashioned beer, you really can't go wrong here. If you wanna bring both worlds together, I think you should. I think these all taste delicious. I'm not gonna rank them. I'm not gonna tell them which one I liked more because they were all delicious. I think at some point you should give each and every single one of them a try. I'm a big fan of Blue Moon. I'm not sponsored by them. They're not telling me to say this. I just want to say it because I can. If you guys get a chance, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment away as much as you want. I am so happy to be back. I will see you guys in the next video. Drink on!